Jake Cutler, you know they're going to try to take a shot. And here he is eluding the pressure, and you are exactly right. Chucking it up into the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. Holy cow, Cameron Meredith. And that's why you have to take a chance, David Beal. Yes, it is. A 50-yard heave from Jay Cutler. See him running the flies, everybody getting into the end zone. And what do you talk about as a defensive back? Knock it down, that ball gets tipped up into the air, falls right into Meredith for the touchdown before the half. You could see Conti trying to knock it down. That's the old tip drill that they work on all the time in practice. All the time in practice, you see this done. and He can't knock it down, ball falls right into his lap. Touchdown. Maybe a two last week. Back to Ari. Number 15 on the year for Pop. Final seconds. And Esiason looking to fire for the end zone. And it is. It is caught. Touchdown. Touchdown for the Jets. Adrian Morrell on the deflection. Unbelievable. With no time showing on the clock, which means it comes down to the two-point conversion for the time. Adrian Morrell is just waiting by the pile. They throw it up. It gets batted around. A little bit like the play Ahmad Rashad made way back when. All of one of the Buffalo Bills, we talked about the inexperience of this secondary because of the injuries, and Morrell there to make the play. Giants looking for a stop. They're going to air it out. Rodgers does this better than anybody. End zone, Cobb, touchdown! Unbelievable! Five seconds to go. 20-yard pass, sideline, 15-yard pass, stops the clock with one second to go. Field goal would win it. Up in the air. Going deep. They're hoping. Tip, clock, take up. You're kidding. The Vikings, they win it. Time is run out. Minnesota, they are the champions. Ahmad Rashad. Rams have deployed their six defensive backs. Don't let him have anything he wants underneath. He might try the big bend, just throw it down there. Look for a defensive foul. Hello! Hello, Hello. Turner. They missed a touchdown. They're going to call him around here. That's his sixth touchdown of the season. Those are remarkable numbers for Gilbert. But for Turner. Had a pretty spiral on a joke. Yeah, that's a pretty good pass to throw on the run. In and out of the hands of Gary Green. He was thinking interception. Went right between his hands into the arms of Darrell Turner, who has caught two tonight. Goes the ball back to midfield. But the Jaguars will give them all of that they want as the game is now down to 18 seconds to play. Third down, and Couch may want to, he's going to have to run a play. He can't spike it. Third down. Looking long. He's got time. Is this like New Orleans? are too good and watch this this is Tim Couch as he finds his way he steps away from the pressure he just got sacked on a play just like that and watch here the ball is up it's a rainbow Quincy Morgan keeps his eye on it and just pulls it in unbelievable unbelievable and now they're gonna now with that replay the fans here believe that's an incomplete pass. Well, first of all, you've got to realize this. Number one, it was ruled a touchdown on the field. That means there has to be conclusive evidence, irrefutable evidence, that it was not a catch. One-yard field goal. I think they want to get a first down and then maybe go for the field goal. But they're out of timeout. Here is Aikman back to throw it. He's going to take a Hail Mary shot. Touchdown! Alvin Harper out of the pack. Touchdown from 34 yards out. Harper. Go for the juggler if you're playing here. Take the thing. It's fourth down. The third time in the first half they've gone for the fourth down. Look at this ball up in the air. Number 80, Alvin Harper coming up with it. How can that happen? Right in the middle of five Redskins. 
and he caught it clean. Usually, those things are tipped or you catch them on a rebound. He caught that thing. It wasn't even tipped. He's got great speed, but that's not going to get it done. Flacco stepping up and throwing deep down the far sideline. Caught into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacoby Jones. How does that happen in the Denver secondary? That is stunning. That with a three-man rush and dropping eight guys into coverage, that the Denver Broncos could misplay this to this point. Only a three-man rush. Flacco steps up and unloads a deep ball. And again, I don't understand. Tony Carter has got the short coverage. How do you let the guys get deep? Raheem Moore, number 26, he's late coming. It's just amazing. Amazing. So, Tony, it looks like you're right. They're going to go for that. Hail Mary. Warner waiting. Now he tosses it up. Jump ball. Somebody came down with it. Touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald. Unbelievable. And, boy, I tell you, this really sums up the 49ers season thus far. Here's Larry Fitzgerald right there, and he just goes up higher than everybody else. He went up like it was a rebound in basketball, just went above the rim higher than anyone else could. Screen. This one up for grabs, and Falcons are down there. And the ball is caught! Touchdown! Touchdown, Michael Haynes! Can you believe it? Just when the Niners thought they had a tailor-made victory. Michael Haynes makes his first catch of the day on a Hail Mary. Two defensive linemen, and he doesn't get phased by it. They find a way. Winston puts it up top, all the way to the end zone, and it is... Safarian it's Jenkins. caught for a touchdown. How about that? Austin Safarian Jenkins with a catch with one second to go in the game. Tie goes to the runner. Harold Jones Forte gets up with the ball, but the signal was touchdown. Bucks. Yeah, he brings it down. It's his. That's, a, that's six points yeah. right there. Third and six from the Falcon 48. Falcon's going to drop off about seven players deep. Breeze steps up in the pocket, throws it for all he's worth. Down into the end zone. The ball is going to be caught. caught. Terrence Copper. Terrence Copper, was it? Yes, it was. Terrence Copper on a Hail Mary. The final play of the half. 48 yards, and Terrence Copper, who has been the goat of this football team in the last couple of games, a hero at least momentarily, as he brings it in on the strike that allows the Saints to add to their lead. Let's take another look at this one. Well, look at all the all the Falcons that are around that football. I mean, Terrence Copper doesn't do anything special. It's not like he gets out there and out fights anybody. They just, I mean, the Falcons secondary just did a horrible job of covering him right there. It was Derek Johnson who lost sight of the football, and as he was turning around, Terrence Copper was taking it in. The Saints don't score here, and Atlanta holds on. It would be the biggest Falcon win over the Saints since 1999. Last play. It's a tip, and look at that. So we erase what I just said. Lance Moore caps it off, but time is out. And the Falcons hold on for the victory. And that's a Hail Mary you wish, if you were a Saints fan, meant something. But besides padding the stats for both Lance Moore and Drew Brees, pretty inconsequential.
tight end, Hobie Brenner, number 85, is blessed with great hands and intense concentration. And these attributes shone brightly in 1984. This is just a pass that's going down. Everybody waiting down there. What you hope is that ball bounces as it does here. And then Irving Fryer, number 20, goes up and picks it off. Stanley Morgan up to tap that ball the first time. 86, watch him, jumping right here. Taps the football. And Irving Fryer grabs it before it gets out of the end zone. That's just the old rebound scene, a basketball rebound. Everybody under the boards and somebody's got to rip it down. With 12 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, Culpepper found Marcus Robinson for a 38-yard touchdown pass and connected with Ontario Smith for the two-point conversion. The Vikings' last-minute efforts weren't enough in the 21-18 Redskins' victory. Beavers for the Packers. Three-man rush by the Bears. Far throwing deep. Down. And there's a penalty way back here because Alonzo Spellman hit Brett Favre right after he threw the ball. So that penalty's not going to come, but what a throw by Brett Favre. Nothing's over with this guy, is it? Nothing. I mean, the play isn't over, the game isn't over, the time isn't over. Look at him, they got the three guys that are just running that Hail Mary. Here's Antonio Freeman, he's number 86 there. He's bumbling and stumbling and the ball's up in there and Antonio Freeman catches it. Last play of the first half of the game all even. At 14, the Bucks recovered a fumble, went in 20, 19 yards for a touchdown. The Bears came back. Hail Mary, Sam, that's the Hail yep. Mary group. Everybody's going on the last play of the half. Time has expired, Bill Furr. Get some room and throws for the end zone. They jump up and it is it caught. It is caught for a touchdown by Bryce Hunter. That is unbelievable. Ramps and Ron Smith to the left, Drew Hill and Preston Denard go slot right. Aragama with White on top of him going for broke to Ron Smith and Smith caught it! Touchdown for Ron Smith! An incredible catch! He beat Aaron Kyle and Cliff Harris. You know what happened? Ron Smith played the ball. And they got Randy Hughes with Aaron Kyle. And they did not play the ball. Here it is. He's going for that bomb we're talking about. Now, Ron Smith played the ball. And the defenders did not. Double covered. He took the ball away from him.